Oh, trailer one. Oh, that's cool. This tends to get caught. Something I'm gonna do with the hitch as well. Nice hot day down here in Florida, like 85 degrees. This is gonna be our shortest travel day yet. Plus I've got an awesome RV upgrade that I'm gonna be sharing with you today. This great adventure. We were notified by the owner of this particular RV lot that we are parked too far back, actually. Uh, this is kind of an unusual RV park. Usually, usually you can utilize all the space behind your RV, but not here. There's like a common area and I'll show that to you. And we're kind of parked over the grass and it's killing the grass. So we've got to move a whole seven feet today. But in order to do that, you basically got to pack everything up. And then I'm going to do that awesome install I talked about. Now, one issue with moving the RV forward is we're going to lose some of our parking space. So that might be a little hard uh, when Cherie gets back on where we're going to put the Prius. But you can pretty much put a Prius anywhere. So we'll see what that looks like. So what is this amazing RV upgrade that I'm going to do today? Well, here it is right here. RV snap pads. I mean, viewers have been commenting on our videos when they look at our RV jacks and say, why don't you have snap pads? And I mean, I was surprised. I mean, it's almost not even an option right now because these are so cool. I'm gonna mention just some of the advantages to these. So these increase the stability of your RV as well because they increase how much uh, space that you've got for support and because it's like a, a flexible hard rubber it actually absorbs some of the uh, the vibration from walking around in your RV so I'm looking forward to that these also protect and extend the life of your RV jacks plus this saves your back if you're already in a fairly level site you don't have to crawl under your RV to put anything underneath those jacks you are all set and it's no wonder because uh, if you look at the online reviews for these consistent five-star ratings these are made out of recycled tires they really seem very tough and once you install it it, it goes on one time and it's permanent so two-year warranty uh, that these things come with so I've been looking at these for a while and luck would have it that we actually ran into RV snap pads at their booth at the Tampa RV show and they were nice enough to send us a set to test out on our Grand Design Momentum. Thanks guys and really looking forward to getting these installed. If you want a set of your own, we do have a link down in the description where you can uh, get a set of these. And it's easy to find the right size uh, for your particular RV and they fit all different kinds of RVs. Just go on their website and uh, just go through the form and it will pick out the right set for you. So in the back of the RV lot that we're at right now, I can take these off. But you see the space we got right here. Normally you'd be able to utilize all the space. We basically have it set to where we can drop down the back deck and it doesn't hit this fence back here. But this is like a common area right here. Uh, so it's a little bizarre. You can actually have neighbors and people come back here, which is a little unsettling when it happens. You can see underneath here, we've got some of our stuff stored under there, the blue tote, uh, but this grass is starting to die and they don't like that. Uh, it's actually in the rules that I agree to that I need to move up gonna have to yeah disconnect everything and hook up the RV to the truck and pull forward so it be a several hour long project getting all of that done but again we'll take advantage of that by installing the snap pads today something I'm gonna do with the hitch as well 
and I went ahead and actually put my old hitch cover on there uh, just to protect it from the weather. And yes, I know I need to get like a protective bed cover. It's one of the next installs that we're gonna do. Like one person said in our hitch and first tow videos, keep an honest person honest uh, by locking this thing up. And I'm gonna go ahead and, and stick a couple of locks on there just to keep that uh, from walking off, so to speak. I'm gonna go ahead and take the cover off first. And I got this hitch cover on Amazon years ago with my old hitch. It doesn't necessarily co cover this one perfectly, but I don't know. Guess it helps protect everything. So this is the issue right here that we want to lock up right here. I'll just pull out these old clips just like that and stick the lock in there. I had a couple of locks like this, but the, this was just a little too fat to fit through there. So I'm hoping this works. Yes. There we go. Nice and safe and nice and locked up. And since I'm doing this, I think I'm going to go ahead and do this other small upgrade here. Uh, the breakaway cable uh, system here, which provides the emergency brakes. You just attach this end right here to uh, your truck uh, bed. And this one right here uh, is better than this because this tends to get caught and get in the way and you don't want an emergency trigger of your your brake here so I'm gonna go ahead and get that uh, installed here so we'll be set on our next trip all right now I got that off of there and just go ahead and thread this around that clip right there nice and sturdy not like a regular keychain there we go just like that I always like to take these and kind of stow them back up in there when it's not being used just so it's not hanging down ready to get caught on something yeah cool well I've done a lot of it brought the slides in just disconnected sewer, disconnected hose, power. You know, it's it's messy back here, but just the basics that I gotta do to pull it forward. It Okay, let's find that rear view that we want here. Ah, that's the one we want right there. Still gonna look up backwards wise. It's a handy little feature right there. What other cameras do we have here? Oh, I guess there's nothing connected to that. Oh, trailer one. Oh, that's cool. That must be the invisible trailer one. Wow. Sweet. I didn't know that it had that feature right there. This is pretty cool, figuring out these camera features for the first time. Um, I love the 360 view right there, but there for eyeing up the hitch, you know, you can tell that I'm not exactly straight on right there. That's pretty cool, but this one I didn't even know 
it had that option. I think that's like the see around the trailer. That's pretty cool. Like to do our little visual inspection right there. Looks good. We'll go ahead and get everything connected up here like we would be going normally, but we're not. We're gonna do all the safety stuff here, <laughs> even though we're only going a few feet. We'll take this, clip this right there. You can see that in there, so it's not like hanging around. It's not gonna really get interfering with that cable right there. far enough forward I think I'm gonna call that good because I didn't do a safety tug I left the front jacks down we're on pavement only going six or seven feet so you know trying something a little different I know that's been kind of a area of contention in the past if you're wondering what all that white stuff is right there on my jack pads uh, it's diatomaceous earth we've had some ant issues so we've tried to use that uh, to some degree of effectiveness but I've got to I've got to wash that up I'll wash that off wash up underneath there you want to have a, a nice clean fit <laughs> got pads for the front jacks you do those first while the truck is completely hooked up and all the safety stuff is still done so what I'm gonna do is take a little bit of uh, dish soap and just kind of put it around this edge here so apparently it can get caught up here a little bit not smoothly so just a little bit of dish soap along here put these in place and they say to lower one jack at a time if you can you need to do it manually so it's that far one that's going to go first so see where it can be nice and close so I'll just pop right in Looks like that's pretty darn close. This one's gonna have to be adjusted just a little bit. Okay, here goes nothing. <laughs> yeah, I guess it needed to have the pressure of both of them. I think they both popped in, but I'm going to raise them up just to check it. Yeah, it's on there nice and tight. These give about a one inch 
one inch boost to the height there so yeah pretty sweet Sweet. Well, it's time to get disconnected here. Okay, we'll just four more jacks to go, but I'll go ahead and button up the truck here while the tailgate's down. <sighs> All set. And I know some of you say, oh, you need a bed liner like one of the very next things on the list to get so if you have a recommendation on a bed liner definitely let me know in the comments uh, what do you think the best would be for this I guess I'm really not that techy because even though our RV has this one control uh, smartphone app and we've had our RV for like seven or eight months now I still have not installed this, uh, but for our RV upgrade today, I need to do that. And actually, that'd be kind of cool to have that uh, on my iPhone. So I'm going to get that done. This is the first time I've used this app. I'm going to need to go to Devices, Leveling. Bingo, getting there, two more to go. Yeah, I think we're good. So before I hit auto level, I'm gonna go ahead and bring up the stairs over here. I mean, I think they kind of adjust, but I don't know. I don't think it's a good idea, so. Time to hit that auto level again, get this thing level and reconnected and we're good to go. Finally ready here to auto level here. Looks like it's gonna be a pretty sunset. About the time to be having a beer <laughs> I'm certainly ready for one but still got to deploy the slides reconnect everything and let it do its thing and I'm going to check with the manual level in there as well because sometimes it's not perfectly level that looks good so pretty cool, right? I know you want a pair of your own, so use our link down in the description. We appreciate that when you use our links. That does help to support the channel. Get yourself RV snap pads today. And I just can't wait when we get back on the road and just have this done and a much easier process getting set up. If you're brand new to our channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, ring that little bell, that way you get notified when we release a brand new video. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your RV friends. And if you have snap pads already, uh, let us know uh, what you think of them and if you like them. You can tell it's been a warm Florida day. It's time to get a shower and grab that beer. So 
We'll catch you in the next video, guys. Later.